Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand relational operators and equality operators. In our previous classes, we have covered arithmetic operators, uh, assignment operators, increment and decrement oper operators, bitwise operators, shift operators has already been covered in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. In this class, we'll try to understand relational operators and equality operators. Before that, we will try to understand what is meant by logic expression a logical expression is a statement that evaluates to either true or false so the expression uh, an expression is called as a logical ex expression it is called as logical expression because it, it is going to evaluate the output the output of that expression so after executing that expression it is going to evaluate the output as either 0 or 1 which means either true or false so it is going to evaluate either 0 for false and uh, 1 for 1 for true 1 or any other numbers but 0 is used for false so this is what we call it as logical expressions and the logical expressions can be constructed by using three operators three different types of operators if you take any logical expression those logical expressions can be uh, can be constructed by using three different types of operators it is relational operators less than greater than less than or equal to and greater than or equal to or also called as comparison operators and the next one is equality operator it is equal to and not equal to if uh, so equal to and not equal to other one is logical operators logical and logical or and logical not in this class we'll try to understand relational and equality operators in the next class you are going to understand about logical operators so what is meant by a relational operator relational operators or comparison operators compare the values of the operands so the values of the operands so uh, what this uh, relational or comparison operators are is uh, for simple example 5 4 less than 5 so the values of the operands will get compared if that value is less than or greater than or uh, less than or equal to or greater than or equal to that comparison can be done by using using any of this relational operator so that comparison that is why it is called as comparison operators or relational operators so uh, what it is going to generate is it is going to generate it produces either zero for false or one for true as the output so after comparison if it happens to be true that expression happens to be true it is going to generate an output of one so this point is very very important understanding this point is very very important because uh, uh, logical expressions or uh, the, the the logical expressions that are constructed by relational equality and logical operators always evaluates the output as either true or false so this point this point will help you write the programs in an efficient way please make a note of this point so this point is very important so uh, relational operators uh, when uh, uh, is going to generate an output of either 0 or 1 so what it is going to generate for this expression if this expression gets evaluated it is going to generate an output of true because 4 is less than 5 it is true so 1 is going to be generated as the output okay so this is this is uh, about relational operators and one more thing that we have to understand is we should be very very uh, cautious while using these relational operators so for example uh, take the value of i is equal to 2 j is equal to 3 and k is equal to 4 and we have written an expression as i less than j less than k so it looks like an legal statement so it is going to compare i with j and j with k and it is going to produce an output of one if all are less than i is less than j and j is less than k it is going to produce an output of one but it is not going to work in that way it is legal this will this this will be accepted by the c programming language but the meaning 
the the way we are thinking is not going to the way is not going to be the way in which the programming language is getting executed so what happens this with this is 2 is less than 3 3 is less than 4 it looks like uh, uh, it is true but what happens is first these two will get compared so the output of this is 1 1 is compared with 4 but what we are expecting we are expecting uh, 3 is less than 4 or not we, we are thinking that this is how the things will get executed but what happens in uh, with the compiler is so 2 is compared with 3 first yes it is less than 2 is less than 3 so the output for this will get generated as 1 now 1 is compared with 4 but we are expecting 3 is compared with 4 so this kind of problems are there with this the relational logical and equality operators so we should be very careful while writing the relational operators the expressions with relational operators so we'll solve some problems on that and we'll try to understand how to uh, how to write an expression by using these operators and the next one is equality operators it compares the equality of the operands and produces the output as 0 or 1 so the relational operators are going to find the relation between the operands whereas in the equality it is going to find the equality between the operators so what is that equality means so one is equal to so and the operators that are used for equality whether that is equal to or not is done by uh, two equals two equal to symbols and because the one equal to symbol is used for assignment so the values will get assigned if you use two equal to uh, two equals it means that it is a comparison operator it is a equality comparison operator if 10 if you want to compare i and j so the values of i and j is going to be compared for equality if the value of i is equal to j it is going to produce an output of one if it is not equal to it is going to produce an output of zero okay so if value of i is uh, uh, 10 and j is equal to 9 so what it is going to produce it is going to produce an output of 0 because they are not equal okay similarly for not equal to comparison we have the symbol this one is the symbol exclamatory mark followed by equal to symbol so this is this is the basic understanding of a relational and equality operators hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below thanks for watching